Hello there, this is the Bookkeeper Master on YouTube. Welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to post a journal entry using QuickBooks Online. This video isn't part of a series, but I do have series of videos for QuickBooks Online. If you go to my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com, you can learn the basics of QuickBooks Online. You can learn how to do VAT returns, bank reconciliations, and those sort of things. So with QuickBooks Online, if you just go to the top right here, there's a plus button. Depending on which version of QuickBooks Online you're using, this plus button may be over here. It might be in a different order at the top here. But just find the plus button and click on that. Then down here to the bottom right, we have Journal Entry. Once again, if you're using a different version, it might appear over here. But just find the Journal Entry button, click on that. We then have a journal appear. Enter the journal date. Let's do the 31st of January. Enter the nominal account. So let's say whatever reason, I'm going to record a sundry income using a journal. So find the account, enter the amount of the journal. Let's do 553. Put the description in. Whatever the description is, I'll just put miscellaneous income. You should be a bit more detailed than that. Other side of the posting to finish the journal. So let's do the HSBC bank account. The other details will be filled automatically using the first line of the journal. So 553 miscellaneous income, the debit and credit match, everything looks good. Journal number one, this will go up automatically with each journal. Just click save and close. If you want the journal to be saved and move on to something else. If you want to add another journal, click save and new. The journal will be saved and now we have journal number two and we can fill in the next journal. Hopefully that all makes sense. So all you need to do is go to the plus here, go to journal entry, fill in the details and click save and new or save and close. If you're familiar with bookkeeping and accounting, then this should be very straightforward. If you're new to bookkeeping and if you're new to QuickBooks online, then perhaps journal entries might be something you leave to an accountant or something you do as you become more experienced with QuickBooks Online and with bookkeeping and accounting. Thank you for watching.